Welcome back to the Jeff Fox Show. And, uh, man, we're talking about the big news today. Going down in South Florida, Dolphin fans are really mad. They are really mad. And we're going to bring in our good friend, of course, Stephen Dater. From right here in South Florida, Fox Sports 640. What up, Stephen Dater? This is Jeff Fox. How are you, sir? Hey, man, I'm wonderful, man. I'm a Raiders fan, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really affect me. But I, I'd like to see all my friends happy as Dolphin fans. And it's been a real, I mean, Dolphin fans were kind of giddy lately, you know, with uh, all the tour news and Tyreek Hill and looking great. Everybody's enthusiastic. Uh, great coach, you know, a friendly guy. But then uh, here comes the news uh, from the NFL. Roger Goodell. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> Your thoughts, sir. You said on Twitter, you said this was the most dolphin thing, the most dolphinous thing ever. It really is, man. Explain yourself. <laughs> you know, when I, when I am uh, around the house, it's me and the kids and my right. wife is at work and in the three seconds of quiet time that I get when it's me and the kids, I, I have some contemplation. And in those three seconds today, I thought to myself, number one, just going off that tweet that, that you, you mentioned that I sent out earlier today. Right. This is the most dolphin thing I've ever seen where you get caught red-handed. Because yeah. let's face it. Let, let me say that real quick as well. Dolphin fans who are upset about this, look <laughs> – if you can't do the crime, if you can't do the time, then don't do the crime. Don't I'm do sorry. The crime. All right. That's <laughs> there's no excuses here. It's obvious that they were tampering. These reports were out there for a while now that they were going yeah. after Brady and Sean Payton. This wasn't any secret. We knew something was going to come of this eventually, whether it was this year or next year or two years from now. Right. So the fact of the matter is this happened and this is the punishment. It is what it is. But <laughs> from my tweet earlier, saying this is the most dolphin thing ever because <laughs> not only do you get caught red-handed tampering, but you don't even get the guys that you, you don't even for. get the guy, man. I mean, <laughs> no man. Brady, no Peyton, Sean Payton, that is. <laughs> and then you lose your draft pick next year, one of your first round draft picks, a third rounder in 24. Right. And Steve Ross has to go, you know, live on an island for the next uh couple months. A couple months, couple months yeah. Until mid-October. So it's just wild, man. It's it's so dolphins that this is this is the way it went down for them. It really is. I mean, but that's that's off the field. On the field, I think the Open fans have a lot to be happy about. Oh, yeah. What have you seen so far? Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, this off the field mess that uh, right. came about today, like like I said, it is it is what it is at this point. You know, they they did what they did, and we just have to move on. <laughs> but on the field, <laughs> right? That's the good stuff. I right. mean, as, as great. As hyped as you can get about a training camp, that's where I think Dolphins fans are right now, watching Tua, seeing those clips of the 65-yard touchdown pass to Tyreek, watching him thread the needle to Jalen Waddle, who was being mm-hmm. covered by Xavier Howard, who is incredibly underrated oh, yeah. by the Madden football game. By Did Brunson. you see that? I mean, I really? Mean, this Come guy on. is not only – he's not in the top 10 quarterbacks in Madden. That's rating. laughable. That's I mean, laughable. Yes, I mean, even you as a Raider fan, Jeff. No, yeah, I know, I know. Stay the hell away from Xavier Howard. Yes, I know that. And and this this guy is not only one of the best cornerbacks in the league, but he's one of the best defenders in the league. And Tua is, I mean, look, iron sh- sharpens iron, and Tua is throwing against one of the best defenders in the league and threading the needle and getting the ball to Jalen Waddle. So there's a lot. To be excited about, um, and on the defense too. You know, we focus yes. a lot on offense because that's the sexy part with two and everybody. Right. right. But Jalen Phillips, I think, is going to be a household name after this season for the Dolphins. And there's a lot of good things happening on the defense as well. So on the field, a lot of excitement, a lot of hype. Off the field, same old. I Dolphins. mean, I mean, Dolphin fans deserve better, man. Like, you know, even when you when they're happy, when you have a moment to be happy. Oh. Here comes the buffoonery. I mean. If you're gonna cheat, cheat right, cheat yeah. good. <laughs> this I'm is, glad, yes, this, exactly. I'm glad you said that because yeah. you know, like, you know, and that was the other thing too that I'm seeing today. It's the holier than thou <laughs> stuff. Like, oh, you cheaters, really? 
like the Dolphins uh, are the only team ever to tamper. So you're telling me you know, that in free agency, right. guys signs with a team at 12 or 1 a.m., they negotiate it for 60 seconds and sign it. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, people like to come after Dolphin fans. I yeah. expect you guys to really, really do well this year. Um, thank God we're playing you in preseason. I think preseason game number two is against the Raiders. And uh, again, uh, it, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun this year. I think Dolphin fans will feel better as the season progresses. I don't yeah. see doom and gloom this year. I see a very competitive team. That's right. No, I I, I appreciate that. I agree with you. Um, this is a playoff team, in my opinion. 11 wins mm -hmm. is the yep. prediction I've made on a couple of different outlets. 11 and 6 is where I see them going. Hold me to that. I'm throwing it out there. I'm not scared to make that prediction. Um, but, you know, and the other thing real quick, too, Jeb, yeah. when it comes to the lost draft pick, right. a lot of people are focusing. Because on the wording from this, a lot from the national sports media, you're hearing Dolphins lose their first-round draft pick. And right. that makes you think that they lost their only draft pick, and that's not the case. They actually had two first-rounders, their right. own, and one from San Francisco. So they actually forfeited their own. They still have the first-round draft pick that they're getting from San Francisco in 2023. So it's not all bad Dolphins fans. They do have a draft pick in 23. We have to see where that ends up being. It depends on how well the 49ers do this season. Well, let, let's go to the streets and see how Dolphin fans are reacting right okay. now. You're going to love this. <laughs> I'm going to jump off the roof of the Hard Rock Stadium. Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to steal our first round draft pick for tampering with Tom Brady when we didn't even sign the motherfucker? Are you kidding me? Roger Goodell suck my ass. Brian Flores, fuck you. You're a simp. We can't even cheat right. We can't even cheat right. This team is killing me. We basically moved back. We gave up a first round draft pick to move backwards in the draft. I'm having a stroke. I'm going to die. We can't catch a break. Deshaun Watson sticking his hole in anything with a pulse, getting six games, and we're losing our first round draft pick for tampering with someone we didn't even sign. There was zero evidence found of us losing on purpose. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't do this. Everything was going too good. Everything was too good to be true. We can't have nice things as Dolphin fans. We get a video of Tua dropping his dick on everyone. 65-yard throw to Tyreek Hill. How do we get rewarded? First day of Pats. Sorry, you lose your first round draft pick. Fuck you, Roger Goodell. You'll be seeing me in New York very shortly. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. I get him in trouble. Oh, I love that. I love that passion, man. That, that, listen, I just wanted to play that part. <laughs> and thank you, man, for, for joining me, man. This, this has been awesome, man. The Dolphin fans' reaction is mixed, but, I mean, that one right there, man, that typifies South Florida. That is pure emotion right there. And, look, it's not all bad. It's not all doom and gloom. I know it's frustrating. I know it's disappointing. But, again, the Dolphins did the crime, and they got to do the time. I am not here to make excuses for them. This is what they did. Everybody knew they did this. Right. And they got caught. Every team does it, but they got caught because Brian Flores, well, he went scorched earth after he got fired. So, yeah. And, yeah. And, and Ross, let's be honest, Ross was sloppy. He's sloppy. Yeah. I mean, the way yeah, that this I mean, all went about, a sloppy operation. I'm not condoning cheating or saying you have to cheat better. You, they shouldn't cheat at all. But <laughs> – Look, well, man, maybe watch a few episodes of Mission Impossible. I mean, <laughs> you, you got to know how to be a little discreet. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know what it's going to take, man. But anyway, oh, man. thank you for joining me, man. I know you're busy with the kids over there. I'm looking forward to uh, this season and, and you know, probably kicking it with you guys up there at Fox Sports 640. Uh, let everybody know once again where they can find you. Yeah, at SDiener86. My name is commonly misspelled, so D-I-E-N-E-R, at SDiener86 on Twitter. You can uh, check me out on all my uh, ridiculous takes and some random thoughts that I have on sports and, and other things. No doubt. You still do the Diener's, uh, what is it? The, yeah, the Joseph yeah. Diener, that's right, every day on Fox Sports uh, 640. Uh, no doubt. On, every day, 1255, just a short segment. I'm, you know I'll be touching on this tomorrow. I oh, yeah. Think, you know. A hard take on something for a few minutes so you can hear that every day. And it's also on podcasts. Wherever you search a podcast, you can find Dose of Diener 
quick no little pick what's going on. My very good friend, Stephen Diener from Fox Sports 640. Yeah. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you, man. The Jeff Fox Radio Show.